What is going on guys? Welcome to a very special player review. We are going to be looking at Man of the Match Ibrahimovic who was extremely hard to get. I had to camp on the market for a couple of hours actually but uh, I opened packs in between sessions just in case I, you know, I might miss one but it was quite boring and anyway I would really appreciate uh, a like on this video because it was really hard to get. Anyway, um, if you guys are looking for a place to get PSN cards, Microsoft points, or cheap games, check the link in the description, guys. And here we go. So, Man the Match, Ibrahimovic, I actually tried his non-inform and his inform. I did not try his second inform. So, um, an upgrade is definitely felt between the inform and the Man of the Match card. Now, the Man of the Match card, I have to say, he is incredible. I mean, I dislike Ibra in this year, in this year's FIFA because I felt he might be slow and he just out of position most of the time. But it seems like this man of the match fixes a lot of his problems that I had in the previous with his previous versions. So to begin, his positioning I felt was awesome. I put in structures on him, get him behind, and stay central. This guy, if you want a target man, he is the man for you. He scored me so many headers and he scored me so many nice goals. I couldn't even fit every single one in this video so um, finesse shots you'll see a really nice one as soon as I fake show it I just finesse it outside the penalty area and it curves around Diego Alves it just looks so nice there's a replay at the end of this video to show it he is extremely strong he has 99 strength and I have to say um, he is the strongest striker I have ever tried out in this year's FIFA he actually feels like the team of the year FIFA 14 Ibra but without the five star skills, exactly like that to be honest. This man of the match card is just so awesome and fun to use. His, he has awesome agility. Now his balance I had no problems with because it went, you know when people are trying to push me off the board, he does actually battle it out but sometimes he might give me a penalty so why would I complain about that? Anyway, um, he just really caught me off guard because I just expected to be disappointed again. Just, a, you know, another minor upgrade with the Ibrahimovic. But because I haven't tried him out since his first inform, I felt a huge upgrade and he just fit. A lot of his problems have been fixed. So um, if you were disappointed with his previous versions, I would definitely recommend giving this one a chance. He is insanely good if you don't rely on pace so much. So overall, if you can actually uh, use a strong striker, Definitely recommend this Ibrahimovic, scored a really nice free kick at the start of this video as well. Um, just overall, he seems like a complete striker now. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. Like, it took me a while to get this Ibra, but I will not be keeping him because his team of the season card is just going to be coming out next month. So why would I keep his man of the match card unless I'm trying to collect every single card in Ultimate Team? So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And Ibra is going to get a perfect, yes, you heard that right, perfect 10 out of 10. 